Hey guys! So today I'm doing something a little bit different. A lot of people have been requesting some like thrift with me videos and I have been itching to go thrifting for like plant related supplies. So I thought it would be a fun video. I am feeling a little bit sick, but I've been finding excuses to not go do this for a week now, even though I really want to. So I might as well just go because obviously no matter what, there's something. I just have a lot of different shelves in this house that need some method of organization. And I really like wicker. So that's what I'm looking for. Here is the outfit I'm wearing. It's all thrifted, except for my undergarments and my socks. I love thrift shopping because I can find a lot of skirts like these, these like midi skirts. I found this one last week actually, and I really, really love it. I like them because I'm at the point where my belly is starting to like come out. I don't know if you can see that there. It gets worse as the day progresses because as I eat, I bloat. My bump still just looks like I'm gaining weight, like not necessarily a, a weight for a baby, if you know what I mean. Like I just look wide. My body is totally redistributing. Let's go. Headed out to Savers. They usually have really good home stuff, so I'm excited to see what I find. <laughs> out of breath I just carried this huge area rug out from the DI so I found so many good things not necessarily what I was came in here looking for but I have been wanting to redo my living room and just kind of make it a little bit more cozy and I found so many good things for that and I spent less than a hundred dollars so stay tuned okay so I'm gonna it's the next day Ryan ended up coming home from work early which like never happened so I decided to not film and just spend time with him since the time we get to spend together is normally just us sleeping. I wanted to show you everything I got at the thrift store yesterday. So it is majority home decor related items. I found so many things that I think look great together. So it was really exciting. It was a good trip. I did get one baby related thing, only one. Well, kind of only one. I got some books, seeds and more seeds. I've never heard of this one before, but it looks so cute. I hate when people write their names in books. My type of literature right here. Then I also got this book called The Gardener. It just looks really cute. I'm pretty sure it takes place in New York. I didn't really read through it, but I thought the pictures were really pretty. And this one seems like a little boy book for sure. It's about like knights and stuff. So and I also thought that the um, pictures in here were really pretty. Obviously a lot of these books do have quite a bit of words so we probably won't be reading these ones to our newborn baby. They'll be cute to keep on a bookshelf in his room. And then the rest of these books are ones that I personally had growing up. I've been hunting for these ones and I do have a list of books I'm looking for. So these crossed some of those off of that list. Billy Goat and his well-fed friends. Are You My Mother? The Velveteen Rabbit. These history type books, they like teach kids about history. My family did have like so many of these growing up. So uh, I decided to grab these when I saw that there were so many of the set. There are still way more that I could find. So I'll be watching for those. Some good stuff right here. Ryan is a history and geography teacher. so. I think it'll be fun for him to read these to our kid and kind of teach him about history. And then the last book I got is The Tale of Peter Rabbit, another classic. So yeah, those are all the baby related things I got. Now on to home decor. The first thing I can't really show you because it is a large area rug. Yes, I got this huge area rug for $15. It's a almost six by eight. It has a lot of the tones I like in it. A lot of warm tones, but then there's also blues in there as well, which I really, really like. I did already clean and disinfect this. I went in with this um, Folex Instant Carpet Spot Remover, and I didn't really use this as a spot treatment kind of thing because like I said, there were no spots. I just went section by section and I scrubbed the crapola out of it. This stuff works really well, so I'll link it in the, in the description if you wanna try it out. Next up is another like, fabric-y type thing, which I already did disinfect and clean. This, of course, is a pillow. Then I got this lamp, which I love it, and I think this is such a cute color. I did actually already put this picture in here, though, so yeah, and this frame was a dollar. Then I also got this long mirror. These are another 
couple of my favorite things I was able to find. These are hand painted. You can still feel the texture, but I thought this was so, so beautiful. Oh, they're similar, but not the same. I love them and they were $6 a piece. So normally I don't spend that much at the thrift store, but where these are seriously the colors I just absolutely love. And there's the set and they're in perfect condition. I had to grab them. I don't regret it one bit. Next, I found this wicker uh, like hamper basket with the lid, which I can never find. I always find these huge bins, wicker bins at the thrift store, but they never have lids. So I did get this for the baby nursery. So I guess it's another baby related item. As far as wicker goes, I got this cute whisker, whisker, <laughs> wicker basket. I like the texture. It's a lot different than normal, like wicker and rat, rattan, rattan. I don't know how you say it, but has a different texture, which I really like. Then I got this one, really good shape and size. So grab that. This wicker basket, I like that it's a little bit darker in color. I think it looks really nice. And then the last wicker basket I got is another really good find, I think. This one is so sturdy. It has like these metal posts in it. Yeah, again, it has the cute, these ones are leather handles. Um, they're kind of falling apart, so I won't be using them really. This was $3. Now on to like the smaller decor stuff. So got a plant pot, just a plain white cash pot, no drainage hole. Marble, I think. Pretty sure it's marble. Little storage container. My grandma buys small little things like this, and I think I'm attracted to small little things like this because of my grandma, but this was $1.29 and I really like the colors in it. One of the things I love most about thrift stores is buying potter, handmade pottery that people have donated there. So this is a handmade piece. I can't really make out the initials or the year, but uh, I think it is so, so pretty. But then I got this little stand thing. I think I might put a plant on this. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'll put some of my crystals on it. It's super cool, like oil slick looking. Uh, this other little pottery. Somebody in high school made this because I see P6, which I'm assuming is period six. Then I got this watering can, which I love. It is a weird metallic green. I can't decide if I'm going to spray paint it gold or leave it like this. Um, for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. We'll see what happens in the future. Then I got what I'm assuming is a recipe box, kind of a sage green recipe box. And the last two things I got are these like gold boxes, which I don't know what they're meant for, but I like them and I think they'll be cute on my cube shelf. But anyway, let's get into the like styling my living room portion of this video. My house is a mess, be warned. I realized I forgot to show you this vase, which I love. Again, that green tone that I'm very into right now, if you couldn't tell. So here's what my living room is looking like now. Wow, the lighting is just terrible. I have some stuff in here. I haven't like set it up how I want it to be set up yet, but a lot of those little things I got, I think are going to be really great for this. Everything is so messy and I just want it to be perfect for when baby comes. I know I still have five months, but there's a lot for me to go through. First, I guess I need to move everything out of the way. I especially need my little doggy so that I can lay my rug out. Can you move? You're such a big boy. You always right where I need to be. Go on, go lay down on the bed. Figure this out. Roll this puppy. Right there. I'm gonna switch up the layout. I need a I need a change. Okay, I got so tired, so I just ate lunch, and I'm feeling rejuvenated. So I'm gonna put a basket here, I think. Yeah, and it's gonna have like my little throw blankets in it, like that. That doesn't look great. <laughs> that looks kind of dumb, huh? 
<laughs> Maybe I'll just fold them. Why am I trying to be fancy about it? That's better. And I just have to say, I'm really liking the way everything is turning out. Like, things are coordinating, it's coming together, it's taking a lot more time than I thought, and my house is way dirtier than I expected because I literally just cleaned it like a few days ago, and there's still little hairy fluffs flying around everywhere, so <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. Swapped out my Maranta for this Fitonia. I think I like this hair better. I have no idea what I'm doing, so if you have any like um, tips for putting stuff like this on a thing like this, uh, please share because <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff down. Selenite crystal there, can you even see that in the video? Probably not, it's fine. I think that looks okay. Ooh, maybe some gold. This is where I'm keeping my essential oils in this little box because they fit perfectly. I don't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys have really cute, cutely decorated homes. So if you could share some of your knowledge with me, it would be much appreciated. I'm doing the best I can, but it's just not that good. It's fine, sometimes our best isn't very good. And that's okay. Oh, crystals, I'll put them up here. No. Maybe here? Yeah. I haven't bought crystals in a really long time. So I've given up on the cube shelf for now. It was stressing my brain out because then I would notice a thing that would look better somewhere else and then I was trying to find a spot for that thing to go somewhere else but then it made it so another thing looked better. So it was just like gonna be a lot of switching things around. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is for now. If I start to hate it, I can swap things around if I get super bored or something. But now I'm gonna do my little book bookcase thing. This one, I got to go in here. It's kind of like our tech basket. Just has like cords and things like that. Oh, she gonna go there. Put a plant probably on this shelf. I want to get more philodendrons. I don't I have this one in a Brazil. I think they're cute. It's gonna go up here. Last though, I think. So much better. Okay, so I ended up putting my, those two paintings here on this wall. It was just kind of bare. It's where like my garbage can is but um, And then I thought later on it might be cute to like put a shelf here so I could have more plants But I really love them and I still can't figure out if they're like one of those paint by number things or if somebody just eyeballed that but either way they look really good and then here is how the living room ended up turning out. I know I said I wasn't going to rearrange the furniture but then I rolled out the rug and I decided that I liked this a lot better. And I think everybody in the house agrees. So it just feels more open and like inviting, I guess. <laughs> Plus the couch will be easier to keep vacuumed this way. I don't have to vacuum every single side of it. I ended up putting this basket just on the ground there. So if we have like any little knickknacks that we need a quick place to put them, that'll be a good spot instead of leaving them strewn about the place. And then the red pillow I bought. Honestly, those pillows look so good with this rug, I think. Here, this is how the bookshelf area kind of turned out. So this is one of the thrifted frames. My friend painted this for me and sent it to me. Thank you, Rox. I love it. And I think it looks really good right here. I ended up just putting the wicker basket with all of our like cords and things here some plants of course and then these are the books I bought for the baby but I will move them into his room once I get furniture for that so for now they're just gonna hang out here I ended up moving my monstera here I think it fills in the space a lot better this stool is actually thrifted also but I got it a while ago but I really really love it it's so grandma-y I like it a lot but I really think that the monstera looks way better here than it did when it was against that wall over there then I just have the mirror sitting down right there. I kind of like it there, but I probably won't leave it. I actually plan to use this for the gallery while I'm gonna hang above the couch. I just need to find pictures and things I like. Here is the cube shelf, which is what I struggle with the most. Um, I put the lamp here. My sister actually did this cat artwork when she was in high school and gave it to me. Uh, so I have that sitting here for now, but again, that'll go on the gallery wall once I get that up. One of the little clay bowls up here. And then these are also one of my thrifts. Just some little 
gold boxes, I don't know. This is how I ended up doing it. Has a little bit of extra storage. At some point I'll probably get some like baskets to put down there, but for now this works. And then I just have my um, confetti arrowhead plant here. You can see it has like little pink splotches. There's a good leaf. And then this basket here, which my sister made from Thrifted Supplies. I'll pin her um, video in the top of the comments and then I'll also link it in the description if you wanna go watch her video. She does um, several like plant pot things, <laughs> plant related DIYs, let's just say that. But yeah, I'll probably put a golden pothos in this with like a um, totem so it can grow upward. And I think it'll look really nice. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, they like it. So one last update, Morgan and I decided to go to the thrift store again today for one of her videos. And I ended up finding this wicker table, which is so cute, I think. I've seen things like these at Urban Outfitters and Anthropology for so expensive and I got it for $4.99, so. $5 for this thing. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Since there is discoloration, I plan to sand down the top and I think that that'll help make it look a lot nicer. And then also I got this silver tray just to keep like a candle and a plant. Maybe I'll find another little plant to put here. But yeah, I think it looks really cute in the room. That is the final update. So that is it for this video. Please let me know what you think of the living room transformation. It was a really ex inexpensive one. I spent less than $150 on it total. And I got quite a few big pieces. So I'm really, my dog growling. So I'm really excited about that, but let me know what you think. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.